Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another video. So today um, we're going to be following up from taking a look at the new Fusion World uh, content. We're going to take a look at the other starter decks. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, this one today, which is the starter deck Vegeta, which is going to be blue. Um, so we took a look at Goku last time, uh, but these are probably going to be out around the same time. So we're going to, um, you know, take a look at all these at the same time, pretty much. Um, so yeah. Without further ado, we're going to kind of just get into this thing. Uh, so, yep, yeah, again, here we go. We got, uh, in, in the plastic, if you will, we got kind of like the, um, the, the, the star deck here with the Vegeta. This Awakened side looks really cool. And, uh, of course, we get uh, the promo, the promo card, which is always really nice to have. Um, so I'll kind of do the same thing. I'll open up the promo card last, um, just to kind of nicely end off the video. Uh, so we'll go over what the deck does. Um... I've now been able to actually like play the card game a bit, so I've had a bit of time between the opening the red starter deck and actually opening these other ones now. Um, what with the pre-release kind of finally being over, and uh, yeah, no, the, the, um, so far the game has been like really fun. So I kind of understand what some of the cards are now. I kind of understand which ones are better than others. Um, but like looking back at my like. Uh, the red Goku starter deck. Uh, a lot of what I said was pretty good. Still pretty much holds up. The removal is quite insane in the deck. But enough about that. We have this one. So we've got... Uh, we'll go over this other side first. So we've got uh, this Vegeta here. So just... Uh, yeah. They are all going to have like the when attacking, draw a card. So that's really cool. And then we've got the Awaken. So four life or less. Just draw a card again. And then just flip this card over. And then we've got the Go Tank side. We'll get to it in a minute. Uh, and then we've got when attacking, draw one card. And then activate main once per turn. So if you have seven or fewer cards in hand, this card gets 15k power for the turn. That's insanely good <laughs> from what I've seen. Um, because it's not very difficult to stay at like seven or less. Uh, this deck seems to really benefit from that hand size kind of thing. Whilst also having like bounce as um, as its main gimmick. So yeah, this is a, this is a very good power for this. Uh, being able to swing 35k... Um, just from this alone without anything else needing it. It's very good. It's very good in my opinion. <laughs> so, very cool. Um, okay, and then we've got uh, one of the two of the deck. So, really cool Gotenks card. So, four drop, 25k. Pretty cool. On play. If you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, the standard, uh, add up to one Sun Goten and up to one Trunks Youth, both uh, with a cost of two or less from your drop area to your hand. So, immediately this is a really good card because it's just seems like it's refueling your hand um for like combo power or being able to play those cards um it doesn't seem like it has uh, the like uh ex or what i say ex evolve it doesn't seem like it has the fusion stuff coming from um the old dragon ball game so this is just a nice on play card just uh it's really good it doesn't seem like it's the main big boss of the deck but it's like it's really good um i can't complain with this so yeah get two of these so you will have to buy a second star deck if you want to get a uh, play set of those which is probably the recommended um so then we have this is the big boss monster okay so we got another five drop 35k but it also has double strike which is amazing and then on play choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with a cost of four or less place it at the bottom of the owner's deck so coming off a of one piece this is immediately coming like the seven drop Borsalino in blue, right? You just bottom deck a four drop and then that's it. But in this day, in this game, hitting a four drop is very valuable. Because um, four drops can be a lot of good stuff at the moment. Obviously, these five drop big boss monsters are exempt from it at the moment. But anything else, fair game. Which is really cool. Really cool to see. So. Uh, you will get just two of these, I believe. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, then we have the Gotenks free drop, so just another like decent beater, um, skillless card. Uh, can't really say much more than this. Got the 10k power, which is pretty cool. So yeah, another one. So this seems like the uh, this deck's category is basically just Saiyans, really, which which is fine. That's completely fine. That's cool. Um, you know, I don't think Saiyans will ever not get any kind of support in any real way. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, we do get four of these. It's really cool. And hey, Super Saiyan 3 Son Goku. Uh, not listed as Super Saiyan 3 at all, just a Son Goku card. Really cool. So 30k, uh, 10k battle power, so, well, combo power. Uh, just a nice 4 drop 30k for the uh, for the deck. So yeah, not too bad. Uh, being a skill list, because like, the skill list kind of, from what I'm understanding, is um, 
they're kind of the first thing to go when you're deck building, right? Because they're obviously not holding a lot of value other than just being a really high powered card. So it really depends. It really depends on how you feel about these cards. But yeah, we do get four of these. That's cool. Okay, and then we have Son Goten. So what do we got here? One, yeah, 10k, 15k beer. Yep, so this would be one of the cards that you'll probably keep around. This is something that you can hit with the Gotenks from earlier. Uh, so the fact that this is like one of those 10k combos, again, being able to refuel your hand with like 10k combos and stuff like that is a very valid strategy. Very, very cool. So we do get four of those. That's really cool. And then, hey, we get, uh, you know, the next best thing, right? Uh, so, <laughs> Son Goten Super Saiyan. Um, so, 15k, win a, uh, 10k as well, and then 2 drop. And then, when attacking, add up to one card from your life to your hand. Then, if you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with a cost of two or less. Return it to its owner's hand. That seems very good, actually. Um, bounce back to the hand isn't always... It, it, it hasn't always come off as the best thing. Because, you know, oh, they'll just play it again. But it's the fact that they have to kind of waste resources to get that thing back out there. It's a valuable card they like having, right? Uh, but other than that, no, this is uh, really good because it's something that can help take uh, cards from your life by yourself. So if your opponent's starving you, this is really good to kind of, like, bring your own life uh, down so that you can, like, awaken, right, faster. Um, or if you just want to awaken as soon as and then pop off from there because the Vegeta's, like, um, awaken side. Like, yeah, it's just <laughs> very good, very good for aggressive play. Um, so yeah, and again, the uh, seven cost of fewer, so very good, very cool. So we will be getting four of those, which is always nice. Uh, and then we have Sun Gohan Adolescence. Ooh, interesting. So 20k permanent, if you're, your turn, if you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, this card gets 15k power. Wow, okay. This, this deck seems like it's really easy to just boost itself like without having needing much else to be on the field to help it boost and just kind of just popping off really just hitting for really high like power levels, like 35k seeming to be like a sweet spot for these decks um so that's very interesting so we do just get two of those which is yeah that seems fair um that seems like that'll be a really good card to stick around for saiyans for a bit uh, it depends on uh, how much of the seven cards or less gimmick stays around but then, of course, yep, uh, we got Trunks, going to be on play, draw a card, much like the Master Roshi from Red, so very cool. We do get four of these as well. Um, pretty standard stuff, draw, like, being able to draw as many cards as you can in this game is definitely seeming like a vital thing, so the more the merrier. And then, of course, we get Super Saiyan Trunks, so permanent, your turn, we meet the requirement. This card gets 10k power, so 25k power for a two drop. Uh, pretty good. I again, I feel like it can be very easy to kind of stay around seven or less and if not you can always um, You know really swing start using those cards yourself for like combo power and stuff So again, just seems like a very aggressive deck from the looks of it uh, And then on play add up to one card from your life to your hand So another way to kind of just uh, self-awaken so self-awaken cards are very valuable I'd say because uh, again don't want to get starved. You don't you don't want to be kept away from the cool mechanics of the game Why would you uh, you do only get two of those which is in which yeah, that makes sense um, So definitely definitely loads of good reasons to try and get like two of these so that you're just kind of always prepared Right, and then we've got the super combo of the deck So yeah, you can only have four of these in a deck pretty much something to only use on your opponent's turn for defensive plays uh, But it's not bad. It's got 10k by itself. So, you know, it's pretty good. So yeah four of these uh, and then we got Piccolo. So free drop 20k, and then on play, if you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, add up to one extra from your drop to your hand. Um, considering what I've seen of extras so far, this is very good. <laughs> this, is, this is definitely very good. Um, being able to recycle extra cards as well. Um, that that's uh yeah you know that's that's gonna be very helpful and for definitely decks like this as well. And again, it can kind of fix up your hand. It can probably help you hit these requirements easier. Um, and I mean the extra cards just seem really good by themselves anyway, like uh, like the God Kamehameha and the regular Kamehameha from the red deck They just um, yeah, they were better than I thought <laughs> So yeah, these are this seems like a very good card to have uh, Oh, we got Bulma, so this is our first blocker So 5k, one drop, just nice blocker. Oh, it's got 10k combo power um, 
So the really cool thing I found out about uh, about this is um, if you play these on field, you can still use these as combo power if so long as they're active, I believe, um, for either offensive or defensive swings. Um, say defensive swings, like when the opponent's swinging at you. So even if you realize this might not be good as a blocker for long, you can just totally use it for the 10k power, and that's completely fine. Um, so yeah, this this seems like a very decent card. This seems uh, seems really good. So I imagine we get uh, yep yeah, four of those. That's always good. Blockers is always nice. It's kind of crazy that the red deck doesn't have any blockers at all. Um, but I think almost every other deck has. So, But then again, like red finds it really easy to remove those blockers. So it's the really cool give and take. Um, and then we got Majin Buu. Just a nice 20k skillless card. Uh, these cards end up being a bit better than I expected, to be fair. Because being able to also like play your battle cards and swing in the same turn, you can easily play two drops like that and it's like wow 20k that's gonna still hit awakened leaders like that's really good uh then we've got the one drop extra we've got activate it's gallic gun which is an activate battle uh so you can do this whenever something is attacking you or you're attacking someone you can choose your leader or one of your battle cards they get 15k power and then if you have seven or fewer cards in hand you get to draw a card so um Drawing cards is always valuable, and getting a power boost to either save or, like, you know, swing for life is uh, absolutely always good. And considering the Piccolo, who can keep getting that back, um, well, actually keep getting it back, but, like, he can get it back, so you can kind of recycle a few of those, that's, that's even better, that's incredible. So, and then we have Final Flash, so... This has the same effect as the God Kamehameha, being a permanent. If you have uh, meet the requirement of the deck, basically, you just get to reduce the cost by one. Um, and then you have Activate Main, which is discard one card from your hand, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with a cost of five or less, and place it at the bottom of its owner's deck. So yeah, this is hitting you big boys. This is actually insane. Um, so it doesn't matter, like, because pretty much everything in these, apart from, I think, one of the, the green deck, is like a five drop or below. So this will hit just about anything at the moment. So this is crazy good. This is really cool. So yeah, uh, we do get four of those, I imagine, which is very good to have. Very, very good. Definitely not underestimating the uh, the extras this get in, in this game. And then we've got the energy marker, which I, yeah, the, I do understand this a bit better now. Um... So when you're starting second, you essentially just will have this, and then you get to charge. So you'll be at two energy on like your first turn going second. So this is really cool. But obviously, when you pop it, like that's it. Like um, this will go away for the rest of the game. So you can either put yourself behind or make like a really good like pit, like uh, like kind of power play, if you will, depending on how much you have. So yeah, no, this is really cool. And there is the code behind that, um, but I'm obviously not going to show that because I'd like to use it myself. <laughs> But maybe in the future, who knows? Maybe we've got some to I can kind of give out and stuff. So we'll see. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, there's this thing. Okay, of course. We we always have to make sure that we try and open this thing up uh, because this is always always gonna be good stuff, uh, right? So these will basically just be like um, similar foil arts to the cards that are already in the deck. So we have. The Videl Super Combo, which is always cool. I do like that. It's a shame. Uh, I will just have to replace the other ones. I would have loved to have gotten something like uh, the Vegeta, uh, like the big boss monster one, right? But this is really cool nonetheless. So, yep. Awesome. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that has basically been everything for the Vegeta start deck. Um, again, I'm kind of taking these a quick glance, quick look, but now I'm kind of feeling a bit more informed for these other ones since playing the game a little bit. Uh, I have also found out that, like, set one is technically, like, uh, it, it's meant to be out at the same time as these. So already we've got, like, an entirely like, new set to kind of combine with these. Um, so maybe I'll do a look into those. Maybe I'll do, like, a kind of like a video just me kind of uh, delving into each color, right, for a bit and seeing, like, experimenting what we could do. But sadly, until the PC client uh, is out, um, I can't really get too much extra gameplay on this. Maybe I'll do a video on, like... Um, how to play, maybe? It, it, it's I'm thinking of a few things, but uh, for now, this has basically been just the, the, the Vegeta deck unboxing. Uh, so we're going to move on to the other ones at some point, or like very soon, should I say. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, make sure you uh, subscribe and things of that nature. Uh, and stick around, because there'll be more both Dragon Ball and One Piece content. So thank you again.